Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video and the uh, several videos that follow in the series of videos, I want to go over making this particular website. This was what we used as the final exam in CIS 195 uh, previous term, and it's what we're going to use as our first week review in the advanced web development course. So basically what I gave you for this, uh, I did give you a, a list of directions, and this is this described the website you were going to create, key bullet points and things like that. And also gave you some screen captures of how that exam was going to look or that how that finished web page was going to look and it's going to look and it was going to look like this there's a couple things i changed for this video just because i didn't have uh, copyright so in the actual exam we used a, a movie trailer from the movie twilight and i used some description from another site so i've changed that out to a different video and some uh, generic lorem ipsum text and stuff like that but anyway this is the web page that we're going to make and you had two hours to make it so let's go ahead and get crank uh, uh, working on this. So I'm going to jump over to my HTML editor of choice. In fact, let me take these directions. And I'm just going to move these over to my other screen so I can kind of move along with the directions as we go. So I can see those. Okay, and I'm also going to keep an eye on the actual web page. So basically, this is the page we're making. Um, just to kind of give a quick overview. It's a relatively straightforward two column layout, nothing fancy. There's a header section across the top with a few elements. There's a left column that contains um, box office reports and a form and an advertisement. And then the main column contains a navigation menu and some information on one of the particular movies. It includes an embedded video hey, this is... and includes some text with hyperlinks and things like that. In addition to making the screen version, you're also going to make a print version. And the print version would really just show um, the basic text right over here. It'll show the title, a picture, the headline, and so forth. Okay, so that's that's our plan of action. Clearly I can see this is a header section with two column layout. So let me go ahead and jump back over to my editor. And you probably started from a blank template, so that way you didn't have to type a whole bunch of stuff. But let me go ahead and put some of that in there. So doc type HTML. So I'm going to do HTML5 document, opening HTML head tag, or opening HTML tag, head tag. I'm going to put a title in. Um, I'll call it final exam. Meta character set, UTF-8, and I had you probably put in your meta author. Now let's do um, name equals author, content equals, I'll put my name in. There we go. Now you knew you were going to use style sheets, so I'm going to just go ahead and do a link. And I'll just go ahead and call this screen and I'm not a big fan of the word wrap so let me turn word wrap off and I'm just gonna size it just a little bit smaller there we go repeat that um, and I'm gonna have a print version so I'm gonna have a screen version CSS a print version CSS I warned you that would be coming up I want the page to look or the website to look different on print than it does on screen and then we'll just stick in a uh, media equals screen and media equals print. So this is really, I'm just doing this initial setup here. Let me go ahead and do a save as. And I need to save this to where are all of my uh, images and stuff like that are. So let me jump back over to my 195 exam files. All, and I'll just go ahead and save it right in here. I'm going to go ahead and call this uh, ralphfinal.html. There we go. So I've got that saved. And if I were to run this in Firefox, there we go. There's my blank page. So let's go ahead and put some more stuff on here. So this is the head section of my page. Close that out. Body. Closing body. Closing HTML. Okay. Now, as we recall, this is a header with two columns. So let me go ahead and make that basic layout. Um, I like to use a container, so I'm going to go ahead and create a div, id equals container. And then within that container, let's roll this up a little bit so you can see better. 
Within this container, I will have, of course, a head section. I'll call it header. And after the head section, I'm going to have my left column. And then after that, I'll have my main column. Oops, no space. There we go, so that's the basic layout. I've got a header, left column, and a main column. So now I've got that basic layout. I'm really, I'm gonna just keep working on the structure and the content. Um, so let me look back at my finished example here. And I'm only working on one chunk at a time. I don't want to overwhelm myself by worrying about this navigation menu or worrying about this form down here or worrying about the video. I'm going to focus on the header section. And I can see that my header has some distinct elements. There's a uh, logo for the website. There's a simple search form, simple text box with a submit button. There's a small secondary navigation menu up here, register and login hyperlinks, and there's also a secondary logo, looks like an HTML5 badge. So there's really four specific things in this header section. My logo, my form, some navigation, and another image. And, and in order to really control where these are, ultimately I want to be able to position them. Okay, That'll make my life a lot easier. But I do need to have those elements available to me. So let me jump over to my editor. Go up to my header section here. And I'm going to st start to put some items inside. So I know I'm going to have this logo to deal with. Get that cursor out of the way. Image source equals, and of course I gave you the image, and it was a uh, logo.png. Remember, let me—I uh, don't know if I showed this to you yet, but I did give you a collection of files to work with. I gave you the background images and images and videos and all that kind of stuff, so you had that available to you. So I've got my logo in there, and I'll just go ahead and give it a generic alt. Okay, so I've got my logo counted for. There's also going to be a little form. I'll do uh, method equals post, action equals little dummy action. We didn't do any uh, scripting, any server-side scripting in this particular in this particular class. So of course you didn't have to actually make the form function. We were just getting the form elements on there. And I'm going to give it an ID. I'll call it search box. And this was a relatively simple form. It had an input, type equals text. And um, let's see, I'm going to give it a class also. Because it's, it's a lot bigger than normal. That was in the directions too. You want to make this search box really big. And just to be fancier, how about a placeholder? There we go. So we've got the placeholder attribute, which is an HTML5 attribute for forms. So that'll be nice. And I'm going to do an input type equals submit. Get a little submit button. Class equals button. And uh, value equals search. That's what I had on there, right? Let's see. Uh, yep, just the word search. Easy enough. OK, so there's the form. And that's really all there is to that. Now my navigation menu. Jump back over there. It's simply uh, two hyperlinks, the word register, the word login, and there's a, a pipe symbol separating those. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and create uh, another div, id equals links. And you notice I'm not testing this out yet. I haven't gone to my browser to really see what things are looking like because I know I haven't done anything with my style, so it shouldn't look anything. Sorry about that. It was a little calendar reminder. But uh, my website shouldn't look anything like my finished example yet because I haven't done any styles. I'm just focusing on the content. I know my page has structure, has header, left column, main column, and I know the header contains these particular critical elements. So I'm just getting these elements in there. I'm not worrying about style yet. Um, in practice, obviously, it's I think it's good to do frequent regular checks. But I want to try to get this content in here first. Okay, and let me just go ahead and create my links. And I'm just going to do some dummy links here. Um, let's see, the word register, pipe symbol, uh, 
login. Oops, missing a quote. There we go. Yes, not a very fancy navigation menu. I didn't use an unordered list or anything like that. I just did the text. So pretty simple and straightforward. And one more thing I'm going to put in, and then we'll kind of conclude this first part of this video here. Um, make the badge. Oh, so I'll go ahead and do another dummy link here. And there is an, an image that I provided. Let's see, it'll be on this file. Let's see, it was the HTML5-badge.png. Notice HTML5 is all caps, all uppercase. That's not a good habit, but oh well. So let's see, jump back over to my editor. Excellent. So those are the key structural elements of the head section. Um, I think in the next video, we'll start to put in some content in the left column and the main column, and then I'll start to do the style. So I'm going to get all the page content in first, and then we'll go ahead and do styles. So we'll pick this up in the second video.